Representative Manugi and offers House Resolution number 87, a resolution to declare April the 24th, 2021, as a day of remembrance in the state of Michigan for the Armenian Genocide of 1915 through 1923. Chair recognizes Representative Manugian. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for allowing me the opportunity to speak to House Resolution 87, which designates April 24th, 2021, as Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day in the state of Michigan. Armenian Americans in Michigan and Armenians around the world recognize April 24th, 1915, as the day that the Ottoman Turkish government began their calculated campaign to exterminate Armenians living in the Ottoman Empire by removing intellectuals, scholars, and leaders of the community from the population. From 1915 to 1923, more than one and a half million Armenians, Greeks, Assyrian Chaldeans, Syriacs, Arme uh, Aramaeans, Maronites, and other Christians, including members of my own family and likely uh, family members of your constituents, some of whom were just as, as young as just a few months old, were subjected to torture, starvation, mass murder, and exile at the direction of Talat, Enver, and Jemal Pasha, the leaders of the Young Turk government of the Ottoman Empire. This is a dark chapter in human history, and it is vital that we not only remember it without revision or censorship, but also commit toward building a society where the words, never again, do not ring hollow as they have for Armenian Americans for generations, including during the 2020 war in Nagorno-Karabakh and its aftermath. If you ask any of your Armenian American constituents, they'll tell you that the term genocide was coined by scholar Raphael Lemkin in his plea to the United Nations to develop a framework that would eventually become the Convention on Genocide, and his definition directly referenced this massacre of Armenians. According to scholars, there are 10 stages of genocide, including dehumanization and extermination, words you would expect to be used when discussing the massacre of human beings for no other reason other than their, quote, otherness. However, to this day, Armenians around the world continue to endure the 10th stage of genocide, denial, and its cousin, gaslighting. Just in the last week, Azerbaijan opened a, quote, military trophy park featuring life-size wax figures of Armenian soldiers covered in fake blood thrown into replica POW cells. The artist commissioned shared with the media that they took pride in making these figures as ugly as possible to encourage hatred and animosity towards Armenians. I cannot remember a time in my life when I didn't know the history of my family and fellow Armenians and what happened to us 106 years ago. From an early age, Armenian Americans are raised to not only know the details of this history and the work of those folks from outside the Armenian community who stood beside us in our community's quest for accountability. This includes, including many of you, members of our 100th legislature here in Michigan last term. When we passed a resolution condemning the anti-Armenian aggression carried out by the Az Azerbaijani and Turkish militaries in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, our community is very grateful for your support and recognition. Throughout, through this commemorative resolution, the Michigan House reaffirms its commitment to not only recognizing and uplifting the stories of Michigan's Armenian Americans as truth, but to fight genocide denialism in modern times. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker and fellow representatives for the opportunity to address the body and the Armenian community and I are grateful for your support and we hope to earn your co-sponsorship on the electronic calendar for this resolution. Thanks everyone. The question before the House is the adoption of House Resolution number 87. All those in favor of the resolution will say aye. Those opposed, nay. The resolution is adopted.